Now, though, to the graphic new videotape of the case of a retired police captain who shot a man after an alleged argument in a movie theater in Florida. For the first time, we're now seeing the moment the shot was fired. Look closely at the right side of your screen there. You see the victim's arm reach over the chair and grab the shooter's popcorn and throw it at him. Then the gun comes out and is fired. On Friday, the judge in this case made a major decision, and ABC's Ryan Smith has the story. And I am going to detain Mr. Reeves pre-trial. Obvious relief. The reaction overnight of Nicole Olson after hearing a judge deny bond to the accused murderer charged with shooting and killing her husband, 43-year-old Chad Olson, in a movie theater last month after an argument over texting. I'm just very happy and relieved by the judge's ruling. I have no doubt in my mind that it was the right decision, and I want to thank the state very much. The decision comes after new infrared surveillance video played in court shows the incident unfolding inside the theater. Here is Reeves leaning over his seat, telling Olson, not seen on camera, to turn his cell phone off. Then he gets up to talk to the manager of the theater. Minutes later, Reeves is back. Then the moment that changed everything. Watch closely. Olsen seems to grab something, throw it in Reeves' direction. That's when Reeves draws his gun and shoots. Watch again. The confrontation and the gunshot over in seconds. As soon as I pull the trigger, I said, oh, shit. What? This is stupid. Also heard in court, audio tapes from police interviews with Reeves just after the shooting. It scared the hell out of me. Okay. I thought the guy was fixing to beat the I was defending myself. The guy was very aggressive, considerably younger. But Olson's wife says her husband never got violent. My husband was standing up. He's a very tall guy. He's saying, dude, what's your problem? But no, I did not see any pushing, shoving. But even Reeves, who has pled not guilty, admits to police he regrets pulling the trigger. If I had to do it over again, it would never have happened. We would have moved. The next pretrial hearing set for March. For Curtis Reeves, unless a court overturns his bail decision, he'll stay behind bars until a jury of his peers decides his fate. For Good Morning America, Ryan Smith, ABC News, Atlanta. Such incredible video. Our thanks to Ryan.